Good morning, hello, welcome back to another vlog. It's not a race day vlog today, it feels a little bit strange that I'm not on my way to a race. I'm going to do a saddle fit down at the Boardman Performance Centre. If you have been watching my videos for a while or following me for a while, you'll know that I have always struggled with saddle problems. I still don't have the right saddle. Um, I have been demoing some ISM saddles throughout the cross season, which still aren't right for me. I went to Mallorca last year to do some riding and I didn't have the right saddle on and it was super painful to do anything longer than a couple of hours of riding each day. So I need to get something figured out. So I thought I would bite the bullet because it's a, a little bit of a pricey experience but saddle comfort is invaluable. I have been for a saddle fit before, it wasn't the right one. <laughs> so now that cross season is finished and I'm gonna be doing some longer rides, I really need to get it figured out basically. So I thought what better place to go than the Boardman Performance Centre. It's a three and a half hour session. So it's a pretty intensive, in-depth session. I have packed up my race skin suit. I have also packed my standard shorts and jersey and my road shoes and I'm going to take my road bike with me as well. I know my car is exceedingly dirty. I am gonna wash it today. Hello, welcome to Costa. What can I get for you? Hello, can I get a medium Americano, please? No, just that, thank you. I do have a reusable cup. Hiya. Lovely. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers, my dear. Have a good day. Bye. Made it down south, further down south. I am about half an hour early for my appointment, which is okay. Traffic was on my side. So I'm just going to have a bite to eat and then I will head on over. So I've got my bike now and I'm walking to attempt to find where I'm supposed to be going. I think I, it's up here. I'm just gonna push my bike. I don't wanna be that person that's riding their bike around. by the lovely guy on the front desk I'm to finish this then go and get changed and then Bianca who's doing my saddle fit should be out in a minute it is a really nice place here <laughs> Do you see what I mean? To get the ground, it rolls, right? 
But if I was to kind of do that, and when you then push onto it, you see it's a lot more solid. Oh yeah. Be two different lengths. It's just that this foot pronates more, so it makes it longer than that one. But I think maybe my left is shorter because that's the one that always rubs more. just grinding down some inserts into my shoes because a lot of the issues with my saddle is maybe from my shoes. It's all very in depth. So I'm gonna try some of these.
wanted to pop on here and do a little bit of a roundup. It's now Friday, so a couple of days after I had my saddle fit. I really do feel like I got so much out of that day. I think initially when you hear that something is £325, you're a bit like, oh my goodness, that's a lot of money. But I fully feel like I got my value for money. Bianca really, really knows her stuff. I learned a lot about myself and my body and how incredibly hypermobile my joints are. I knew that I was pretty hypermobile, but I didn't realize that I was sort of like fully at, right at the end of the scale, which also has helped us guide sort of which things we change throughout the day. So there were some main main changes that we've done to the bike and to my shoes we've put some more um footbeds in we've sort of guided the front and back of my foot a lot more to give it a lot more of a platform to push against because before i was only supporting my arch i've got a really high arch but we weren't supporting my toes or my ankles but now she's um molded some inserts and it's much more secure so that's really good the saddle situation essentially we haven't found a perfect saddle for me they've put on the specialized mimic for me to have a go with it's got some memory foam in it I don't have very good core and hip stability because when Bianca basically grabbed my hips and pushed me together and gave me support like a better core would, it was almost instantly alleviating the pressure that I normally feel on the saddle. So that means I just have to do loads of core exercises, core and hip exercises to support me and that should hopefully help the pressure that I feel on the saddle. My left leg and my left side is really really weak it's definitely my non-dominant leg and there's a slight leg length discrepancy i i think everyone has a slight leg le leg length discrepancy but she's put some washers on the spindle of my pedal so that my leg is sort of forced out to the left even more and that was able to activate the outer part of my leg rather than the inside of my leg which i'm very reliant on at the moment i don't remember all of the technical terms she said a lot of big physio words when she was explaining it it totally made sense got some good action points to go on i do feel like i've learned a lot i have to go and get a six pack now that's the next action point but i hope that you've enjoyed this vlog i know it's a little bit of a different one i do just want to say thank you to everyone at boredom and performance for allowing me to vlog and emily for actually doing some of the footage filming for me thank you very much for that i didn't really expect to get that much footage and I really do appreciate that so I hope everyone's enjoyed the vlog if anyone's querying whether it's worth going and getting a saddle fit if saddles are a bit of a hindrance to you and something that you do struggle with I would fully recommend going and having a saddle fit because it has really opened my eyes to a lot of things and areas that I would not have thought that I needed to work on I'm now going to work on so thoroughly worth it. Thank you for watching, my social links are in the description and hopefully I'll see you in the next vlog.